So today I'm going to make a mission inspiration again and this will be the one of July 2016. I have done a few already but still have a bit of catching up to do. As you can see I've printed them all out and here they are waiting for me. Oh wait, these I have done actually. But, and I also, um, uh, before it really, uh, before the Facebook group started, uh, which was beginning of January 2016, Mike Deacon already did a few um, mission inspirations and that were in November and December and I am planning to do them as well. But today we're going for the July 2016 and I'm going to make my mission inspiration uh, for this time on this. This is a piece of cardboard um, and it's from an old board game. Uh, I believe, uh, oh, I don't know how you call it, we call it Ganzenbocht and I thought that would be fun to work on. So, but I have to gesso this and I'm going, going to do that with a heavy gesso because uh, this needs to be covered up before I can start with the mission. So I am going to do that first and be back in a second. So this is covered with a gesso. It's not completely covered. You, the background shows through a bit still, but with all that is going on top, I think it will be all right. So now we take the first step and that is apply a base page color with a baby wipe. And I am going to choose for black acrylic paint and this is by Van Eyck the Mars Black and I am going to mark this so step one is done Step 2, glue tissue or napkin fragments and I had this really beautiful <coughs> napkin and I took a piece off and made some strips and they will go like this. So I am going to peel the uh, two coats of tissue paper from the back and I am going to glue them down. So I will speed up this part. is dry and trimmed so step two is done and step three 
add a thin layer of white gesso or paint. So I have my gesso here with me, so I'll do that. And this is... I don't like to waste, so I'm squeezing every drop of paint or gesso or glue from every bottle, so... So now I am using my little spatula to lightly cover So step 3 is done. Step 4 add texture paste through a stencil. So I'm going to use the liquid text modeling paste and I have this very old stencil which I found in a children's drawing book sort of so, uh, and I'm going to use the stars for, um, with a modeling paste. So I decided to turn my piece of cardboard and going in to work vertically. Is that a word? But I have done step four, add texture paste through a stencil. Step 5, add two contrasting colors. So this is the Mission Inspiration July 2016, but this will be more of a December Mission Inspiration, because I'm also going to use <coughs> sorry, a metallic acrylic paint, a silver, and this is a um, metallic titanium gold by Artiste. So, and I am thinking what shall I do? Maybe I will we'll start with the stars and use my fingers. Step 5 is done. 6. Adhere book text fragments. Now, because uh, step 9 is at handwritten song lyric quote, um, I thought instead of book text fragments I would use this. So I am going to tear some apart and glue it on here. Step 7. Stamp image patterns. And I have this stamp with music um, 
the waltz violin so I'm going to use uh, parts of this stamp and I'm going to use the stays on yet black Step 8, add focal image or shape. So uh, I have these stars and some pieces of doilies which I uh, painted with a silver metallic acrylic paint and I used some Stazon ink to uh, crunch crunch it up a bit and the plan is like this something like this these uh, I search for a star shape on the internet and I've printed them um, on normal copy paper and then I glued it down on some heavier cardstock and then I painted painted these with the acrylic paint from Artiste, the metallic titanium gold and outlined it with a white Signo Uniball pen so I've done that for these I need to do this one and I will show it to you while speeding up the video
Step 9. Add handwritten song lyric quotes. Now, because this background is quite busy, so either I write in black or in white, it won't be visible as such, as much. So I'm going to do uh, a light a black uh, wash here for part at the bottom. Step 9 is also done. No, it's not really done. I need to write it. I did only that. So now I'm going to use my homemade little pen bottle with um, a white acrylic paint. And I'm going to try and write. tried a few different things but um, writing on the surface didn't work because it is too bumpy with all the texture on it so um, the, the, the quote if I can dream uh, didn't stand out so this was my other option I uh, wrote it on a piece of black cardstock and I painted the edges with a bit of white acrylic paint and I glued it down with a golden gel medium so this is nice also but yeah too bad so 9 is done and 10 is finished with a border of your your choice and I'm going to use um, the white acrylic paint and I'm going in with a little sponge And that was step 10 and my mission inspiration for July 2016 looks more like a Christmas card but it is accomplished so done with this uh, the only thing left to do is add a date and today it's the 19th of November thanks for watching everyone I hope you've liked uh, watching the process of this uh, mission inspiration I will leave you some links in the description box as I just said and uh, hopefully see you next time. Bye bye!